weather moving through the Baton Rouge area. So Brian Kelly moving his team indoors for day two of fall camp on day one. All eyes not on number one anymore, but now number seven. Kayshawn Butte back with the Tigers working out and looking good. Recall the spring though. Brian Kelly saying he knew his name. That was all the head coach knew about his star receiver, maybe best player on offense. Well, the pair have apparently come miles together. In fact, Kelly very enthusiastic about his praise for his star receiver. You know, he's so committed. Um, he's worked so hard. Um, I'm excited, you know, for him really uh, because his you can see his his potential is uh, is one of can he be the best receiver in the country? I think he can be, uh, but you got to go out and do it. I, I just like the fact that he is totally committed to what we're doing and how we're doing it. And now he got a, a chance to see how we practice for the first time. You know, he picked that up today as well. His, his player load was pretty high today. It was probably a little bit more than we maybe thought that we wanted for him, but he handled it well, and I expect him to even continue to build on that. The Tigers with four or five really high-level receivers. I think it's going to be a, a fantastic group. And Jack Besh, one of their toughest receivers, not even out there yesterday. Coach telling us he's dealing with shin splints for probably the next week or so. From LSU's campus, I'm Michael Cobble, WBRZ Sports 2, your home for LSU sports.